When you think of the future of transport in Wellington, what do you picture? Flying cars? Probably not. How about interconnected bike lanes? Do we ever end up with a light rail? One thing that I can say with absolute certainty is that the future of transport in Wellington can look a lot better than this. Congestion in Wellington costs Wellingtonians over $680,000 per day. And that figure is expected to rise by 38% in the next 10 years. It is time for a fundamental change in our behavior, a shift that can take us out of our privately driven vehicles and into more varied and sustainable forms of transport. Kia ora everyone, my name is Brendan and I'm here to introduce you to Arrive, a project with the mission of making it easier to move through Wellington. So Arrive has been built on a foundation of collaboration between the public and private sectors. Our advisory board consists of members from local and central government, and our technology is provided by world-leading smart city startups. We've also had significant support from transport services Green Cabs, Flamingo, uh, and MetLink, who have all come on board at this early stage to help us prove the technology behind our platform. So we started the Lightning Lab process by interviewing Wellington commuters to learn more about their frustrations with Wellington's transport network. Our research showed that 70% of people found frustration with payment, that specifically uh, our clippable train passes, Snapper, and the fact that these payment methods are disjointed between the services. They're also nowhere near as convenient as the digital payment methods which are offered by more recent transport services such as rideshare or e-scooters. Meanwhile, with that growing number of transport services that are becoming available, comes an increasing number of apps, websites, timetables, and platforms that users have to sift through to seek the relatively small piece of information that they're after. 35% of the people that we interviewed stated that this makes comparing their available transport options a real challenge. Now, these frustrations are acting as a barrier to, use, uh, to commuters using more varied modes of transport and mean that people just resort back to just driving their car into town. So, how do we break down some of those barriers? Well, using the Arrive app, users are able to compare all of their transport options based on the time a journey will take, the cost of that journey, or even the environmental impact of the modes that make up that journey. Now, this means that we're already doing uh, what existing, existing journey planning apps, such as Google Maps or Transit are. Arrive, however, is also going to enable users to book and pay for all of their transport needs. No more flicking between apps, no more different timetables, and no more disjointed payment. Arrive is the single platform which brings every key stage of the transport user journey, user journey together. Now, breaking down those barriers is really just step one for Arrive. The really big, impactful opportunity for Arrive is not just to help people get from A to B, it is to help Wellington as a city drive the behavior change that's necessary to reduce our growing congestion rates and create a more livable city for all of us. So how exactly do we aim to achieve this? Well, we're going to be providing users with different influences and messaging, such as information about weather and congestion, and measuring how they as a user respond to that messaging. Perhaps most importantly, though, we're actually going to be showing users the true cost of driving their own vehicle right there and amongst all of their other transport options. Now this is because 100% of the people that we interviewed who frequently drive their own vehicle stated that one of the most ideal outcomes that this platform could deliver for them is to be able to understand better the true cost of driving their own vehicle. So I think that it's fair to say that we are achieving that goal. Now to test our assumptions around behavior change, we're targeting a public pilot in the early stages of next year. We do have some challenges and constraints to work through before we can actually launch the pilot. However, we also have a very clear and well-defined roadmap, which gives us, gives us a high degree of confidence that we will get there. Now, beyond the pilot, our vision for Arrive is to become the platform from which Wellingtonians manage all of their transport decisions. We will also become the platform for local authorities to manage how people can move through their space. The way that we can move through a space affects every part of our lives, from where we live and work to where we eat and play. Unless we change our transport behaviors, we're consigned to a fate of traffic. 
arrive as the platform which will guide Wellington towards a better future of transport. So I ask you again, to imagine the future of transport in Wellington, what do you see? Because we see something that is actually now within reach. We see a smart, diverse, and accessible network of transport services which all connect together seamlessly. If you would like to hear more about this exciting project uh, and our pilot next year, and, or if you have any questions, then we would love to have a chat with you in the networking session afterwards. Um, but for now, thank you very much for your time, and enjoy the rest of the pitches.